Hello everyone, this is Raven here with another battle replay of the Beastmen vs. Bretonias. So before the battle kicks off, I'm going to go ahead and pause it and take a look at the two armies brought to bear today. So far over here, you can see the two Centigors with great weapons as my cavalry contingent. So uh, these guys are going to be doing really good with their high armor piercing damage against any cavalry that the Bretonians might have fielded. And in front, I had the Chaos pa Warhounds with poison. They're good for soaking up charge damage and being able to poison and lower the damage output of other units and slow them down so my Centigors can really catch them and do their good work. In the front, you can see I have three Bestigor units mixed in with two Gore Hordes trying to power down any of the... Uh, low armor peasants that the Bretonians like to fill. They like to fill a lot of peasants and just blob them up. And then in the back you can see I have three Ungor Spearmen herds chevroned up quite high for extra leadership just to help fend off any rear charging cavalry that might have gotten around for my Centigors while they're trying to do their good work. And in the front you can see my main contingent here, which is three Gore Bulls. This is just going to be absolutely ridiculous. We're just going heavy in this. So we're going to just try and put them in the front and put the absolute beat down on their leadership. And for my leader, you can see Malagor the Dark Omen with the Savage Dominion for the Sigor summoning and Devolve, a good uh, AoE damaging spell. And then over here for the Bretonians, you can see a nice thick battle line of Battle Pilgrims on either side. And then in the middle, you got the Foot Squires flanking the Grail Reliquary. So a really sturdy front line able to do good armor piercing damage and high weapon damage against the low armor of some of my units. And in the back, you have two pole arms and then one unit of pox arrow uh, bowmen and then one unit of regular peasant bowmen. So I guess he ran out of money right there and just tried to cheap out. For the Lord, you can see the Fey Enchantress on her special unicorn mount. So we're going to be getting that little mortis engine effect if she can stick her into the front line. And on either side, we can see three units of Knights of the Realm making up his uh, cavalry contingent to fight mine off. So they'll be doing some pretty even training, especially if they can get all three of them engaged onto my Centigors all at once. That'll be pretty good. And on top, you can see another unit of Pegasus Knights, but they're not the royal variety, so they don't get that 20% physical resistance. We're going to go ahead and kick off the action here and go ahead and fast forward it. This is just going to be a little bit of micro getting the units to each other right here. Not going to be missing much. So immediately you can see that I can see that these uh, Pegasus Knights are coming in and I just want to avoid them being able to single out any targets. So I try and keep my Calvary's uh, units over here close to my front lines and you can see I had to repath a little bit there. Units like to get messed up if there's air units above them while they're hard grouped and doing a charge attack towards uh, the enemy units however far away they might be. So I'm going to go ahead and repath them over here, try and get them over this hill so I can get a more advantageous charge against them rather than them, them against me. So you can see that he's pulling back his Pegasus Knights, trying to look for a little more advantageous unit to be able to charge and take out. So you can see here that my Bestigors are going to be going a little bit ahead of themselves and a little bit separated from the deadly Gorbuls that he's not going to be too scared of while they're all the way over there. So he's going to go ahead and try and poke in right here and do a little bit of damage. So I pull in the Spearmen immediately to try and help them out, but then he pulls in another unit of cavalry, the Knights of the Realm, and they're going to get a punishing charge against these Ungor Spearmen. And over here you can see the main line starting to engage. I have my Gore Herds going over here, and they're heading against other Knights of the Realm. Other Knights of the Realm engaging my best of Gores, trying to, you know, just kind of disrupt the formation across the line here with his cavalry, prior to pulling in all of his infantry. That's pretty smart, but over here you can see that his cavalry got a bad charge off against my Gore Herds, which pretty much acted as a meat shield, and my cavalry came in and just dumpstered his cavalry right there. So you can see immediately that he's already got a unit below half over here. And then you can see that this unit is going to be swamped over here so I don't want these units to be lost. I need these spearmen as much as possible. So I'm pulling in all of my cavalry over here to try and do their good work and try and save the units but I get a little bit blobbed up and these units don't get in the fight like I wanted to. They just kind of turn into a mosh pit in the back. But over here you can see that these gore bulls are just doing absolute work on these foot squires. Their high armor piercing damage are just going to be chumping through any armor that these foot squires might have and any knights of the realm that get too close are just going to be decimated back here. Over here he's trying to get some advantageous rear charges with his Pegasus Knights choosing to pull them out though because of the Unger Spearmen having that anti-large bonus and the best doors having a quite high armor piercing value themselves. Over here you can see that my units are being routed off the field due to the, the high infantry blob over here and the concentrated fire from the peasant bowmen in the back. But you can see that my Gorbel got on his lady just for a few seconds and she's already feeling the hurt. She's already down to almost half HP and she's trying to run away as fast as possible. So he starts pulling in the pole arms to try and help her out and then starts pulling in his cavalry and they're just going to blob up super hard against my Gorbels over here and they're going to be able to take that damage quite well and be able to dish it right back out because the Knights of the Realm do have a quite large uh, 
anti-large bonus, and they do have pretty good armor, but they do not deal armor-piercing damage. However, the pole arms themselves do do armor-piercing damage, but they do not do high damage. So these Gorbals have a very good fight on their hands right here. So I pull in the Malagor the Dark Omen, and I summon a Sigor to help with that terror and get some extra damage in. And this is just going to immediately turn this fight in my favor. This entire blob right here is just going to become mine. So over here you can see that I'm losing this infantry fight due to this rear charging of the Pegasus Knights. My gore herds were just immediately killed because of all the fighting in the front line over here. And you can see that I have forces in the back and I'll be pathing them back soon trying to rally them. But over here you can see Terra is going to start kicking in quite soon. He's going to take out these Knights of the Realm any second now as these Gorbals just do massive damage and they're going to be taking out all these units. There's just nothing they can do. This is just the best position possible. I have a rear charge bonus from Malagor and in the center Gorbals are just can hit anywhere, and you can see that they're just getting the mass, ma maximum effect, excuse me, of their splash damage on everything. The lady comes in here and tries to help out with a little more ascension effect, but it's a very foolhardy move to try and come in here against three Gorbals, especially with the low army of, armor of the lady at 15 armor. This Gorbal is just going to have so much fun toying with her. Look, she's just going to have to be path so hard, so he's going to be spending a lot of micro on them, and I can just path all these units into any fight I want. The terror and the high damage of these Gorbals is just going to immediately take any unit out of the fight. You can see these Pegasus Knights already being chewed through and routed. You can see these Battle Pilgrims actually shattering even with their high leadership, and you can see the lady being chased still by this Gorbal. She's just so desperate to try and get away, so she runs in here to this blob of Pegasus. Battle Pilgrims trying to escape, but this is just horrible. I have my leader, three Gorbals, and my cavalry coming back to try and engage her. So you can see her getting a little bit scared, trying to run back and casting some spells. So over here in the back, you can see that the Battle Pilgrims and some foot squires are going to be coming back. Oh, excuse me, that's uh, pole arms. And then you can see his Knights of the Realm coming back in. Two units of them trying to do some good charges, and his Pegasus Knights coming in trying to cycle charge any units that might be um, used. Uh, not currently targeted with my micro because I'm focusing on this frontline fight right here with my Cygor and my Gorbals trying to keep them as healthy as possible and do as much damage with them. These units are really going to be what's going to end up causing me to win or lose because if I lose my leadership my army is just going to rout and you can see a comment of Cassandora coming from the Chalice of Potions over here due to the the lady, uh, the Fey Enchantress over here. So this is going to be some devastating damage, especially against these Gore Herds and grouped up uh, Chaos Warhounds. So they're immediately going to start uh, fleeing from the field over here. These Warhounds can't take the fight very well. They don't have very good armor, and neither do these Gore Herds, so they immediately shatter and rout. Over here, though, you can see my Cygor still doing good work until he was finally brought low by arrows and Knights of the Realm. So I just try and pull in my best of gores over here to try and get some rear charge penalties against these foot squires and try and support my lord. And you can see my gore bulls are just so low and tattered all over the place. I'm trying to take them to do as much damage as possible, get rid of these archers who are doing some really good focus fire on me. But over here you can see that one gore bull routes and another gets targeted by the flying pegasus knights. And he's going to be targeted by the fey enchantress too. She's going to come in here and get a good charge off and get some... Good damage right there, and that was just so painful to watch. But you can see I'm pathing this Gorbal hard and furious over here, and they're just going to start laying the smack down on this Fey and Trenches. This is just the worst possible place for her to be. You can see that her HP is just going to drop incredibly fast. And luckily for me, this Gorbal comes back from routing, and then she happens to route just right in front of him, so I'm going to immediately sick her onto him him onto her, excuse me, as she starts running towards the back of the battlefield, and I start trying to group my units together and put one final charge through at this peasant line and try and crush them once and for all. Over here, you can see that the lady actually comes back from routing. She rallies with three leadership, and it's just going to be the worst time possible for it. Corbo's going to come in here and just roll straight in there and take her straight off her pegasus or excuse me, her unicorn, and he's just going to be so happy about it, he's going to stand up for about three seconds, and then he's actually going to route himself. There he goes, routing from the field right there. I don't know what got him in the end, but he just decided not to stick around. He said, my work's done, I got the lady, and that's it. So over here, you can see my Gorbal immediately six on this Grail Reliquate. If I can get rid of this, the leadership buff on these units is just going to be gone, and they're not going to be able to do anything. With the lady gone, and my Gorbal still in good health, and their Grail Reliquate dropping faster and faster, and these Gorbals with a winning fight there's just so much morale penalty penalties hitting and it's just going to be a mass route due to army losses that's going to be the end of the game right there so the gore bull team laying the absolute smackdown on these uh peasant blobs over here and being able to deal with the cavalry quite effectively and the lady being uh miss micro i would say on my opponent's terms but overall it was a very good game by my opponent that was a very close call if my gore bulls had died in the end and had routed and hadn't come back 
that totally would have gone in my opponent's favor. But overall, leave a like if you like my uh, content, subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, leave a comment in the comment section if you want to give some criticism on how to make this a better experience for your viewing pleasure. And as always, catch y'all later.